we are in our plant room and we're gonna start doing a little bit of watering. Sorry if um, if the lighting is off, it's really dark. So I cut some of my grow lights on just to add a little bit more light and I have my ring light so it's not like so overwhelmingly dark. And also I'm in my PJs so just kind of look past that. I just wanna quickly get through some watering and yeah, we'll just kind of see who's thirsty, top everyone off and that way I can go to bed knowing my plants aren't dying for water. <laughs> I also started running my humidifier the other day because the humidity has been kind of low here. I'm gonna have to figure out where he's gonna go. I would like it to be a little bit more, I think over in this area maybe, we'll see. And you also may know I brought my imports in because the humidity and temps have been fluctuating outside. So I did bring them in and I sprayed them with insecticidal soap. They've been normally on my table here, but since I'm gonna be doing some watering, I cleared off my table. So yeah, <laughs> they're just gonna hang out in my plant room and so far they've been doing okay. It's been what, like a few days since I potted them up and they seem to be tolerating it. I have given the moss a little bit more water just because it was drying out already just in my plant room. It's always nice coming in here at night, you know, it's like calming because there's not like street noise, it's quiet in here, and it's just like relaxing, watching and looking at all the plants. I would like to eventually get this table taken out of here and I can fold it up and put it away. It's just like, I film a lot, so sometimes it's easier to just leave the table here, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was telling my other vlog that I was doing that I want to, rearranged in here at some point because it's so cluttered so probably over the next few months you know throughout like the holiday season and winter I'll probably focus on rearranging and getting my plants kind of situated for good and I want to get some other system for my hanging baskets I don't like the bars I want to get like one bar to go over both windows and I want it to be I think like a white or gray color so it's concealed and then I'll use these in another area of my home, I think. So yeah, I have a lot to do in here, a lot of work. My plants are growing and getting big, but for now it's gonna do, and then I'll slowly, slowly work on improving. So we have our water here, and I'm trying to think where I wanna get started. My cabinet, I did move a lot of plants out that you guys can see. It's mostly just my anthuriums now, and I added some corms in here recently and a few like various other plants but this is going to be probably an anthurium cabinet eventually and i do need to water these anthuriums in here i think i watered everyone on thursday so it's only been three days but i feel like i feel like yeah they're thirsty i'm gonna water them tonight you can see they're pushing new leaves my crystal as well as my forgetii down here is pushing another new leaf. Lots of new growth on my anthuriums. Look at this cute ghost leaf coming in with my vampire cup. That's so cute. <laughs> get this silver sword potted up I've had it in this thing propagating with moss and the moss is drying out pretty quickly so I might pot up a plant with you guys tonight if I'm in the mood for it I'm gonna just give this a little bit of water so it's not so dry and we'll see if we want to tackle that later depending on how quickly I want, I want to do this watering. I'm literally just like topping everyone off. It's not like a thorough water like I normally do. I also need to get these props potted up. They're my Florida Beauty cuttings that reverted. They've been in this sack of moss and they have all kinds of roots already. I need to get these potted up too at some point. And then here's the other one that's working on a leaf here. 
This is the top cut that's still growing all green. And my base is, I moved it on the other shelf and it's still growing green. So I don't, I don't have any variegation coming back. I watered my plants on Thursday, so everyone's not like super dry. I think some plants might be more dry than others. So I don't want to like overwater them. So I can kind of tell by looking at the soil if I have some that's more thirsty than others, I'll give them water. And I have a lot of my plants in cash pots, which I don't really like to water in their spots. I like to give them like a thorough drink and then let them drain. But sometimes it's just easier to just top everyone off and then any that's left in the bottom of the cash pot here will just soak back up as long as I don't give too much water. So sometimes it's nice to water that way. I'm trying to be better about misting my pink princess um, the new growth so it doesn't get stuck. I lost the end to my thing. I think one of the cats, I had taken it off because it had gotten clogged and it was spraying like pretty full so I left it off and I think the cats did something with it because now I can't find it. But sometimes I take this and top everyone off and water this way too. It's a little dark that you can't really see too much, but I'll just kind of show you some new growth. I took this strawberry shake out of my cabinet. That's a new El Choco leaf coming in there. And we have a pink princess new growth that I'm trying to get better, be better about misting because this one like came in weird, so it broke off. I have some new little Mamii leaves down there growing in. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The shelf doesn't take very long. A lot of these plants weren't thirsty, so yeah, I might water a few poles and top everyone off over here next. Here's a few new poles that I made. Well, they're not new poles. They're poles that I switched to the thickly poles. So I chopped my variegated micans and that one I had outside. So I moved it in here, but I had it on like a huge pole like this. So I switched it to there. And then I switched my global green, my manjula. And this is my sad varicosum. It was trying to give me a new leaf, but I think it dried up. Well, I think the roots did. And this is a plant I've struggled with for such a long time. But I'm really, really, really loving these thickly poles, you guys. I'm literally obsessed with them. And I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna do these for plants that I don't like expect to get like huge, you know? Like this one, even though I started this one on a huge pole, like it doesn't need all this moss. I'm still gonna I think leave this one here just because I don't know. I don't know, I might end up putting them on a thickly pole. But some of these others I might transfer over. I just think they just look, look nicer. I don't know. <laughs> and these poles dry out so, so fast. So I'm definitely liking the thickly poles a lot and I'm just excited to use them more and just see how I like them when I go to extend the pole. She's making biscuits in there. Top this one off. Oops. Might as well top this one off since it's in here. I feel like I kind of neglect this pole corner, which is kind of sad because I feel like I don't pay much attention to this pole corner but like I do that one. So I sort of feel bad that I kind of neglect these guys a little bit, but I'm going to be better about taking better care of them. I'm going to get them some better grow light situation set up over here and like rearrange this section. Here's an update on the serpents. So it looks about the same to me. It, I haven't done anything with it. It looks like it like got crispy. It hasn't like spread or anything. 
it definitely was some sort of fungal and yeah it still looks the same i don't see any new roots and i don't want to go digging in here and disturbing the home it seems to have maintained like the moisture in here pretty well but i am going to top it off a little bit because I, I sort of feel like it's drying out a little and i haven't done anything else with it Once I get new growth, I'll probably maybe chop this leaf at an angle or at least just cut all the, the brown off. I don't know if you guys can see this leaf. Like it is bigger than my hand now. This is my Marble Queen. Look at how huge this thing is. I'm gonna be transferring this one to metal hopefully soon. I was waiting on the new growth down here to get past that halfway mark. So I would like them to grow a few more leaves before I really have to like chop it because I really want to include all three vines. So I'm, I'm hoping I might just like fill this top part with moss all the way up and then hopefully, I don't know, maybe it can give me like two more leaves and then hopefully those will catch up before I have to chop it. I've been training my micans back down but it wants to grow <laughs> like right back up and my siltipacana is getting bigger you guys. It's going to finish straight soon. I can feel it and it's at the top of the pole so I am going to be extending this one probably this week. My adansonia is doing really well since the pole chop. My cebu is working on climbing. My splendid is putting out another leaf here. I really don't like to touch new leaves because they're so sensitive. And my epi down there. My other micans that I chopped is still kind of situating in the pot, the top leaves. So look at all this like dark velvety goodness, you guys. <laughs> Isn't that heavenly? Uh, I love these plants so much. I love all the yellow. My variegated burl marks keeps giving me all these gorgeous leaves you guys they're so beautiful this plant is getting huge and my jose of course is giving me such gorgeous leaves and i want to show you my aria look at that new leaf that variegation coming in isn't it gorgeous this is the the leaf after thrips because this was the leaf that got attacked by thrips that one there and it's kind of in the lime green phase where it's still hardening and the variegation will kind of turn into like this yellow color once it fully hardens and the lime green kind of turns into a dark green. Can you see the difference there? So it's so cool how it takes a while to fully develop. I moved a lot of my alocasia out of the cabinet. So this silver dragon is working on a new leaf and I took a lot of corms. Maharani is giving me a new leaf and my poly is giving me, I think, a new leaf down there too. I thought I had another one, but maybe not. Oh yeah, another growth point down there too. And my silver dragon has given me <laughs> a couple new leaves and a couple flower blooms. I think it has another flower bloom I'm gonna have to cut. I think I already cut two off recently. And my alocasia capria is gonna give me another new leaf there. And my glory osum just gave me this huge new beautiful leaf. Isn't that gorgeous? All of my prayer plants are in their like praying phase. I do need to water some of them. That one's thirsty. That one and that one's probably thirsty. My stromanthi is growing in so full. And this is the, I moved my top cut of my beauty here and or the bottom cut and it's still like growing all green. The th three new leaves have been all green, but like the size of these leaves have like gotten huge on this plant. I'm not happy with like this whole corner. I feel like I could utilize the space a little bit better. I'm not thrilled with like that shelf. And I kind of want to move this up so that these can have more room to trail. I'm going to be moving my prop station out as well. I actually need to like seriously pop these up or do something with them. I like the idea of this prop station, but it's it's too crowded in here with it. And yeah, I kind of showed you my Ethereum, so yeah, that's kind of like a little update. I'm going to check and water a few of these guys really quick and yeah, I'll probably 
in this vlog here soon so it's not too long so I can quickly water these guys and get to sleep here. <laughs> Yummy water. What are you doing? All right guys, I think we'll just end the night on going ahead and potting up my silver sword because I pretty much finished everyone in here. It was just a quick watering. This isn't my normal weekend watering, but I kind of <laughs> was pushing it to last minute. So it'll be fine. I'll just water them probably like Wednesday. I'll give everyone probably a check and a water because usually by like Wednesday, Thursday, my plants are pretty dry again. So the silver sword I had in this, you know, little propagation vessel and the three leaves seem to be healthy on it and it looks like it's pushing a new growth. I had this plant to be pretty tall and it decided to just yellow on me for some reason. I'm not really sure why. And yeah, I want to go ahead and get it pot up. Do you see all those roots? on that thing. When I have moss, I don't worry too much about taking it all off. The moss will break down over time, like in the soil, so I don't worry too much if there's moss still on the roots. Like I'd rather not like break a ton of roots, you know? I hadn't used one of these propagation balls before so I probably should have potted this plant up a little bit sooner but that's okay I'm trying to keep this mess contained and I have like a little potting mat down here all right so there's like that much more moss. So I'm not gonna take any more of this off. I feel like, I feel like that's fine. It's not going to cause root rot or anything. As long as your mix has airflow, it's perfectly fine. So I'm going to sprinkle some of these inoculants on the root system. I had a companion down here too. Hi guys. Don't fall. 
Can you guys see her, hey cutie? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna use some of the soft soils real quick. I'm using a pretty small pot. I probably should use a bigger one because it's gonna get root bound pretty quickly in here. Yeah. I think I'm gonna use a five inch. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go up to a five inch. I feel like this plant is going to get kind of angry very quickly. I'm really not prepared for this. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna take one of my acrylic stakes to go ahead and support him. And then I'm just gonna use some plant Velcro. To attach it. I thought about putting this one on a thickly pole, but I think for this one, I'd rather just probably use a stake. I don't feel like the leaves would really like benefit from a pole. I hope it doesn't go downhill on me again. All right, so here is our silver sword. All potted up, I have an acrylic stick and we're gonna try and regrow him and hopefully he doesn't get angry at me again. I love the silvery blue. They're some of my favorite colors. I just love that tone on this plant. So <laughs> yeah, get him growing again. So he should be good in this pot for a while since I used a five inch. And this whole soils mix is pretty chunky so I don't have to worry about root rot or anything because when I water, it'll drain straight through. And yeah, I'll just keep an eye on that discoloration. I don't know if, what this plant had, but I rerooted it and yeah, it looks like it's pushing a new leaf. So it seems happy and stable. So we'll keep an eye on him. So yeah, that is going to be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of relaxing, you know, late at night, but I'm going to clean up this little bit of mess behind me and call it a night. It's been a busy weekend. I'm kind of looking forward to the season and slowing down a bit. My plants kind of resting and kind of taking that break and getting this room rearranged and kind of looking forward to the springtime next year and seeing seeing what's ahead. So no fighting you guys. Hey, stop. Psst. Just see them, they're troublemakers. Bye. <laughs>